Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, Walt Disney, Harlan Sanders, Sarah Blakely, George Foreman. What do those names have in common? At one point in their life, these individuals had a goal or a vision to create something that had never been done before. Their obsession drove them to going all in and chasing their dreams. Their lives had been a roller coaster of setbacks and failures, being criticized by their friends and family and mocked, being told no by every investor they approached and that their ideas would never work. What these individuals have in common is they're entrepreneurs. And entrepreneurs are bred differently. They don't conform to the nine to five schedules, the consistent paychecks, the paid vacations and 401k plans. No, they thrive in uncertainty. They've embraced the challenge and accepted the fear of rejection. When an entrepreneur hears the word no, all they hear is try harder or get more creative. Life is an amazing journey, and I can tell you the reward doesn't come at the end, but during the road trip itself. So, one of the first things I wanna do, let's go over consignment deals, anything y'all have gone over the weekend. And then I wanna go over all the inventory. I wanna go through the pricing. I wanna run through some mock scenarios. Cause you told me like, you've got a guy with a Batman right now, right? That's right. Yeah. So, okay. So what's he wanna trade it for? Uh, Pepsi on the way. Okay, so if you know what ours is, you know that we have a 2022, February 2022 brand new. We're asking 21. What is his? His is a 2021. 2021 pre-owned on Oyster. So I would say pre-owned, discount at two grand. 19. So trade in for his is 19, and what's he want? Uh, Pepsi on Jubilee. Okay, so we have two Pepsi, two Pepsis on Jubilee. One at 25.5 and 26. So let's just say the 25.5 one. Pre-owned. Pre-owned, also February. It's a 2020. <clears throat> So the difference out of pocket is what, roughly 6,500? 6, yeah, plus whatever tax, tax to whatever area he is on that. So, but I wanna just go through all that so we all kinda of know what we have in inventory, we know the specs, we know the price and off the top of our head. And like I said, run through some trade scenario deals. A lot of people wanna trade a lot of the same stuff and I'm seeing a lot, a lot of root beers, a lot of Batmans, a lot of bluesies actually right now and two-tone Daytonas. I've, I've been offered like five two-tone Daytonas this week. I had a guy that wanted to sell a two-tone Daytona as well. What's yeah. the specs on it? Uh, Whiteface, 2021. Where are they at right now? 25. 25, oof. If we're gonna buy it, then we gotta be around like 22. Tell them it's not for us to buy right now. It's just gonna be leaving too much money on the table. What have you got? Um, I would find the ones to buy two Wimbledons, a two-tone rose on an oyster bracelet, and then he wants a stainless steel on a Jubilee bracelet. I'll put out a call right now for both of those. Z. Sell for around 65 Oh, by the way, have you guys ever seen this? If I'm ever putting calls out for multiple things on uh, the chats, go to Instagram and open up your story. Go to your uh, Instagram story and pull up the, uh, the story view to where you can put four watches. Swipe up and pick the four you want. If you only need two, just black out the other two, you save it. So now I have those two in a thing. You can save that and then go to your gallery and crop it. Oh, there we go. Now I have a perfect chat so I can go into my WhatsApp, hit my broadcast list. Boom. Need both. Date just 41. Wimbledon, exact as picture, brand new inbox. Copy that to all of my broadcast list, and there. I put the call out to <clears throat> 750 dealers. So the, uh, the website's been started on. That should be ready in the next month. And the cool thing about that is we can start pushing everything to that. It's gonna have a lead capture system to where all, everyone can go in and submit a form, all their name, info, what they're looking for, what they're looking to sell, what they're looking to consign. And then Z will get all those leads and he'll distribute them out to us. So tomorrow, I believe, we have Keaton coming in from Canada, June 1st. 
Yeah, so he'll be here tomorrow morning at nine. So he's pretend he's in like a medical device cells. So he'll be here for a couple of days with us. Me, Liz, Darby, the original Dallas squad. We're gonna go to Vegas on Thursday for the day for a meetup. I've got a lot of consignment watches out there to pick up. Figured might as well go out there and do like a little fan meet and greet. All right, let's go over some of these watches. First up, we have a Patek Philippe Nautilus 5711 blue dial. This one is... 2020 Creole. But this is mint. If someone asks you about it, this is one of the cleanest 5711s you're gonna find out there. It still has a sticker on the buckle. Market price right now, anywhere from 150 to 180, one, brand, new. 180 brand new. We're asking 155 based on condition. You're, you're not going to find a cleaner one than this. Next up, we have a two-tone Daytona black diamond dial. And this one is brand new. This one is pre-owned actually, 2021 pre-owned. We are asking for 30000 So we have two of these actually. We've got the diamond dial and the regular mm -hmm. black dial. What's the price difference? Uh, they're about $2,000 different. But the one without diamond, this it's one's brand, brand new. new. Yep. Assume that it was used. That would be 27. And then the, the diamond dial is how much? 30. 30 if, even. If, if not used, it will be 31. White gold blue Daytona, reference 116509. This is the other John Mary Daytona. If I'm going to ask, it's brand new, it's unworn. It's got a couple stickers on the side of the class, on the inside of the buckle. It's 2022. We're only asking this for 60,000. Yep. It's really cheap. Right now. It's oh. March 2021. Yep. It's a new old stock. Brand new. Price range is from what? 60? 60 to 62, 63. Okay. We're asking for 60 because yeah. it's 2021. If somebody wanted to trade a pre-owned one in, what would we? It'll be around 56 and 57, depending on year and condition. Hulk and Kermit. Seeing a lot of Kermits, seeing less Hulks, but we sold a Hulk last mm -hmm. week, a 2020, same as this one, same condition, everything. I posted it for 27,000. It sold just like that. We're asking 28.5 on this one. I still think it's fair. It's the old style card though. This one is better condition than we sold from last year. Uh, Starbucks, these things are like, I'm getting so many of these things offered on trade right now. People are still a little fixed on the price of what they were. Starbucks are not 23, 24, 25, 26 anymore. This one is, the reason I'm saying like new is because he told me he wore it a couple times, but this watch, I mean, this is a slider. You can tell that it has been on someone's wrist, but it's a mint condition watch. It's December, 2021, we're gonna ask 21.5. A lot of people are wanting to trade these in right now. If somebody calls up and says, hey, I wanna trade for a Pepsi or a Bluesy, right now trade value on these pre-owned start around 17, yeah, 17 to 17.5. 17, 18 if it's a 2022, a few months old. The next one I'm getting a lot of is the two-tone bluesies, specifically the, the 126613 reference, the 41 millimeter. Uh, we have two of these. We've got a brand new one. The pre-owned one is a December 2020. We're asking 19.5. So the brand new one's a March 2022, and we're asking 21.5. So $2,000 price difference, also a two-year difference, but they're both 41 millimeters. And then another one I'm seeing a lot of right now is the root beer. 126711 CHNR, the two-tone version. But I want to talk about the rose gold one also. So right now we have two of these. See that? It's a fake box. That's fake. Well, the box is real. The outer box is fake. This needs a polish. August 4th, 2021. What are we gonna ask on this? 25? You want to polish? Yeah. Yeah, we have three root beers now. Yeah. So obviously we have a lot of root beers. If somebody wants to trade one in, right now what I would tell them is we're gonna be a little bit lower uh, if they trade because we have three and we're getting offered a lot. So brand new 27, we've got two pre-owns for 25.5. 25.5 and 25, depending on what's what the date is on the other one. Somebody wants to trade one in, you're probably looking around 20, 22 if it's older, 23 if it's in better condition. Feldmar Watch Company. My name's Anthony. I'm actually in the business as well. I saw the caller ID. I actually know who you are. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> so I have a client that I've been trying to track down a very, very specific front Mueller, and I found it. So it's some, somebody sent me your way and said, do you have this or can get it? And it's the... Frank Mueller Sentry Curvex 8880. Um, do you have a, a reference number for it? 
Yeah, so the reference number is 8880-CC-AT. It's, uh, this one's steel. The picture he sent me was from Swiss Luxury Watches site, but it's in CHF. So the currency CHF is 17,525. We don't have that one, unfortunately, but I could reach out and see if I can get it for you. That'd be great. He only wants that one. Uh, and I've actually been looking for this watch for him for like three months and I cannot find it anywhere. Well, I will reach out and see if I can get some info. If it's discontinued, it might be that we're not able to get it either, but I will okay. try it for you. Well, uh, where are y'all located at? Uh, 9000 West Pico Boulevard, just outside of uh, Beverly Hills here. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm literally standing on Pico Street, but I'm in downtown. Yeah, man. Well, um, yeah, let me add you on my account here. You know what? If you're around, um, I, and, I, and I try to always respect the authorized dealers because I am obviously a secondary market dealer. Um, yeah. But if, if it's okay with you guys, uh, you're not Rolex or Paddock or anything, are you? No, we are not. Uh, oh, okay. If you guys are okay with it, I'd love to come pop in and meet you and say hi. And, you know, it'd be Dude, nice to see all the brands you guys do. carry. Dude, we'd absolutely love to, to hang out and, um, yeah. Have Tell a you what. Maybe, maybe we can collaborate in some way. Who knows? Absolutely. We've got a couple errands to run, and if you'll text me, your uh, address, we'll come by after we're done, and I'd love to meet you. Cool, man. Yeah. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Let me get a couple of these errands out of the way, and I'll text you like an ETA at what time we think we can stop by. Okay. Sounds good. All right, man. We'll see you soon. All right. Adios. I love Bye. when ADs are really cool. Like, I like it when they're like friendly. They're like, man, like he even suggested doing a collab. That was cool. I think it, it helps that they're not a Rolex or a Paddock AD or AP, <laughs> but he did say that uh they've they've benefited a little bit from the the gp, the GP craze mm -hmm. which is cool that's why they know who we'll go are. by and see them yeah i want to see what kind of in inventory they have and then that could be our new outlet for getting new stuff let me call liz hello hey we just paid for your hey. we just paid for your date just so he says he has time to ship it today Andrea is going to create, oh, yeah, she's going to create the label right now. So we should have it, uh, as long as he gets it in the mail, we should have it tomorrow morning and we'll ship it to okay. your guy. Um, he's here. He's local. Here. So I'll just have him come to the penthouse. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Or man. like, I'll, or I'll take it home and like give it to him. Like, cause he works in Hermosa. Have him come to the penthouse. So he gets to experience it. Yeah. He's really cool. We should have him do, he does like boot camps. He's a trainer. We should have him do like a boot camp. That would be like a fun day. And like, that'd be kind of a cool video. I'm down. Uh, he can come by tomorrow and get it. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. Hey, Anthony. Hey buddy. How are you? So I found two Daytona options. You wanted full stickers. I have brand new no stickers for 44 or full stickers for 45. Uh, you want to go with the 45 then? Uh, full stickers. I figured you would. Only a thousand dollar difference for that piece. Yeah, yeah. So it's a completely brand new 2022 and 20, full list. 2022 yeah. brand new full sticker. Uh, if you want, go ahead, sell me a $2,000 deposit. I'll text you my email for the Zell. That'll lock it in. I'll order the watch. I'll get it shipped here. It's probably, it's coming from New York. So it's probably too late to get it shipped today, Thursday. but okay. I'll get it shipped tomorrow. It'll come in Thursday morning. Tonight, I'll get you an invoice created so you can just send me a wire tomorrow. It'll be all paid for and I'll bring it to dinner with me on Friday. All right, that should be fine. When you get a pictures, there should, there should be some pictures, you know? We'll, so we'll yeah, we now. can go from that. We'll all right, now. good night, man. All right, buddy. All right, all right talk that was easy. All right, talk to you soon. What's up, brother? Hey, okay, so my client wants it. I w can you give me two hours and put it on hold? He's going to head back to his office in a minute and then send me a deposit. I want to wait till I get the deposit to commit to it, but tentatively I'll take it. I'll hold it for you, no problem. All yeah, right. You don't have to install it. I'll hold it for you. All no right, I appreciate it. It's full tape, barcode and everything? Yeah, full All tape. All right, awesome. All right, give me a couple hours. I'll call you back and let you know for sure. Sounds good. Thanks, Bye. dude. Bye. This is Drake. Hey, how's it going, man? It's Anthony. Hey, Anthony. Hey, thanks for calling me back. So I was going to ask you, I was going to pick your brain on a couple of things, man, and just see what your advice was on one hand, and then talk to you about possibly uh, consigning a piece um, and seeing what you thought about a value like on a cash, 
the thing is on one of them it's a one one six six zero zero seed dweller are you familiar with the yes the, the 40 millimeter seed dweller seed dweller yeah i've noticed that that watch was only made for three years if i'm not mistaken yes it was, i know it was a short time that, frame what do you think a good buy at that is? does it have uh papers it's it's naked it's watch certified only. through Watchbox. i'm pretty sure is where the, the owner bought it from uh, uh, because here's the deal man i'm trying to start up and hustle some watches i was going to just pick your brain because i i hooked up with this anesthesiologist man and he has a three hundred thousand dollar watch collection basically that he's basically like he's a family friend and i'm okay. only 25 he's 40 and i know i heard i remember you saying in the very first video you ever made is like the reason you got into watches because you wanted to wear them for free and just be around them and i just felt the same way see i know you deal with some high-end shit man but we got some like a couple Oyster Perpetuals, we got a Date Just, we have a, um, you know, will you sell that kind of stuff? Is it anything, the more niche shit that's harder to move? And Yeah, anything Rolex, I mean, any of the hype brands, Rolex, Paddock, AP, Richard Mill, I mean, even the other one, like here, I see a Vacheron, I see a Tudor. We can sell all that, it all depends on price. Everything can be sold depending on price, even... Your the Vacheron historic. I mean, that's a cool watch, and I've seen a, I've seen several of those float around in my groups. It's just when it comes to oddball watches like that, it takes a very specific buyer and a very niche buyer. And you gotta understand these guys are the guy buying that watch and spending that kind of money is very diligent in making that purchase. And so they they know that these generally aren't fast moving watches. So when they go online and there's only one or two, three, one, two, three comps on there, and they're all priced about the same, you know, let's just pick an easy number. Let's say they're all priced at thirty thousand dollars. That right. buyer is not just going to go out and pay thirty thousand dollars for it unless there's three listings that are comparable. I mean, as far as price, but one's brand new, the other two are like beat up with no box or papers, then it makes that one attractive. But if you've got several that are very similar, one has to be priced less. It's gotta be attractive enough to buy it because the, the guys that buy these oddball watches from the secondary market, they know that majority of the time we're stuck holding those things for a while, one month, two months, three months. Sometimes they'll sit and follow somebody and watch it step on their site for 30, 60, 90 days, and then make an offer on it just to get a little bit better price. So if stuff's wow. priced, if it's if it's priced aggressively, it will sell, even the oddball stuff. My question is what's aggressive in this market for those niche watches? Because like I've looked at the competitors, like I know, I, look man, I'm new to this, but the only sure. real, real reference I have is Chrono because I'm not in the dealer groups. That's another question for you. Take, later, here's here's a good way to do a reference I, check. Here, here's how I would yeah. do it because I know nothing about that watch except I've seen it. First thing I would do is I'd look up the, the specs on it and I'd look up the retail price. Then I would go to Chrono 24. I would find the lowest price comparable listing to exactly what you've got. Yeah. Let's just say it's $30,000. Let's say the lowest okay. price comparable listing is $30,000 on Chrono. Automatically take 7% off because Chrono charges a 6.5% fee just to sell on oh. their platform. I have watches listed on Chrono 24, and if you look at the prices on Chrono versus the price on my website, they're exactly 7% higher. If you okay. want to get somewhat of a comparable, like a, a reasonable number, you've got to go to Chrono, find the lowest price listing, and take immediately take 7% off. Then I would take another 10% off because that watch is still online and it hasn't sold. If you go, if you find my watches on Chrono 24 and then you find them on my website, you recognize the style of posting, you come to my website, they're automatically 7% cheaper and I probably still have it for sale. So go ahead and discount it 10% more. That's aggressive pricing. If you can, if you're 10% lower than average competitors or than the lowest price that you can find online for a comp, now you're getting yeah. in aggressive territory to entice a buyer to buy it. Aggressive pricing is not being $500 cheaper than everyone else. It's being 5%, 10%, 15%, depending on the price point of the watch. Obviously, 15% cheaper on a $100,000 watch should raise a red flag, but 15% cheaper on a $25,000 watch is aggressive in showing that you want to sell quickly. And here's the situation, just to let you know that we're in, and I want you to uh, tell me what your recommendation is that I do. Okay. I have these watches, 
and I have, you know, the Jorn we paid 50k for right now. I'm seeing about a median value of around 70 to 80 thousand for it. Okay. Uh, like I told you, the Langa One that's worth, I don't know, damn near six figures now, and it's we only have 36 grand in that watch. The Rolexes were a little tighter on, but because they're naked and they're harder to sell when they're naked, I've noticed those are um, not easy moves when they're just naked watches because. Here's the other thing is I don't have all the connections yet that you obviously you built up and everybody. Right. And, you know, My honest opinion for someone brand new in the business, yes. Like you can make more money selling stuff like that. You're going to sit on them longer, but... My advice for someone brand new in the business is get in the hype stuff because it sells quickly. Your margins are much, much smaller, but focus on volume versus uh, profit. Because while you're chasing a, you know, a $10,000 profit, it may take you three months to get it. In that three months, and you're gonna sell it to one person. In that same three months, I can sell 10 pieces for a $1,000 profit. We made the same amount of money, but I have 10 clients to ask for referrals from. I have 10 testimonials. I have 10 people that now are in my book of business that in three months I can reach back out and see if they wanna trade their piece back in for more. So you've gotta do business with somebody. Now, we're talking on the phone. Let's say you send me a couple of those pieces as consignment to sell. That builds a rep that builds uh, some rapport with us. Now I'll teach you like, okay, what's your next pieces you want? You've got these sold. What do you want to dump them into? I'll help you go find those. Then you get them. And then what I would say you do is you, I'll try to find them cheap enough that you can resell them to other dealers. Maybe mark them up a couple hundred dollars. But the point is, is that now you're, you've done business with me. Hopefully you, you buy new pieces and you sell them to other dealers. Now you've made some connections with other dealers. That's when you start talking to them and asking them, hey, are you in any groups that I can use to find watches? Like that's, that's what I need to do is find watches. Yeah. Alright, so here we are over at Feldmar. Like I mentioned earlier, it's not very often that authorized dealers actually kind of take nicely to us and invite us in. These guys invited us in and actually knew who we were. So we are going to take advantage of the opportunity to be welcome in there and look around, talk, get to know them. Uh, we're also going to respect their wishes that they asked not to film right now, which is completely understandable. So we want to go meet them, respect that and we'll come back out and tell you how it was. All right, so that store is incredibly uh, well laid out. There's so many watches in there, and I don't know, I think there was like 25 something different brands. Uh, if you guys go to Feldmar, go ask for Jimmy. He was super polite, very nice, showed us a ton of stuff, and actually he, sold, he showed me something I've never seen before. It was a uh, Bulgari Octofinismo ultra thin, full rose gold, but it was like the glossy rolls, not like that sandblasted one, uh, with a chocolate dial. That is the, probably the most incredible Octofinismo I've seen to date. And I think it was priced around 45, 46,000. I honestly, I think that watch is worth it. I bet it's not gonna be there very long. But again, I wanted to thank the guys at Feldmar for having us over there looking around tons of selections so that's pretty cool see we match i told you not to worry about it man hey nice very to good to meet you, man. you bro Let's yeah thanks for having me and uh it's a pretty small place i know right george head of security z does operations Sweet. Uh, we're telling him keaton flew in from canada oh okay. to be a potential sales guy hey what up dude uh, morning morning what's up Hey, that, uh, you know these chains better than I do. Uh, Any idea? Uh, um, I sent you a screenshot. It's a 14 karat white gold, 22 inch, 13 millimeter width, 26 karat, uh, with 265 grams total weight. So that's for the necklace and then the bracelet. Like in the screenshot, it's got the specs and all that for both of them. Yeah. I've got a guy that uh, wants to consign those right with me. The, right off the bat, I think, the total care weight is inflated a little bit. Okay. Uh, just because the, the, the width and the, the length of it doesn't match the total care weight that I have in mind, at least. You know what I mean? Like, that I roughly know about how many total care weight should be. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so, my recommendation on your are you taking this as like a trade in, like as a credit, you know, for a watch, right? No, no. He wants to consign it with us. He's kind of wanting a ballpark idea on where I would price it. 
So I told him I have to, honestly, I have to reach out to somebody to find out. I'm gonna be honest, I think it's more like 20, like 24 total carry weight, 20, like 23, 24 total carry weight. Okay. And then the braids it should be around nine total carry weight. Not, I think you said, you said it was 10 or something. Uh, bracelet, the same design, 14 karat white gold, 13 millimeter, yeah, 10 karat diamond weight. If I can get an appraisal on it, can you tell me what you think they're worth or where you would sell them? Yeah, of course I can. Yeah, I just, I, I'm just, it's right off the bat here, the numbers, and it doesn't sound right. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Okay. Well, let me see if I can get them in hand, and if I can, I'll let you know. Thanks, dude. All right. Bye. Appreciate you, bro. Bye. Okay. Uh, Liz, I have some notes I need from you. Okay. So yesterday you sold to date just to Justin. Yep. I'm gonna get him an invoice done right now. And then uh, Deke. Yeah, I have it right here. He's paid for it. Can you send me all of his info so I can get uh, an invoice to him? What time is he coming? I need to get the watch here. The watch? Oh, the watch is here, FedEx or it. So yeah. I will get it after the meeting. Okay. All right, so they'll go pick that up and you can have him come in this <clears> afternoon. I do have somebody coming today, probably around 1 p.m. Okay. I the bull confirmed. Did you have somebody else coming in? Uh, Justin's gonna call here in about 20 uh, minutes. Okay. I have another client I need to call also. Okay, cool. Justin uh, might be buying another watch for his dad. That's why he hasn't sent the wire yet. Oh, uh, okay. The Pepsi needs to get shipped out today. So yesterday we got five, four watches sold. So this one's 498. Okay. That's sold, so here you go. Move this over. Five confirmed watches in the first day of June. That's not a bad start to, to the month, so hopefully that's a good sign of things picking up this month. How are you, man? Hey, what's up? Hey, okay, you've got the Omega World Timer and then you've got a blue OP41 that's a 2020 pre-owned? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. the Omega, I, I haven't sold one of those watches. I know the retail price is like low 9,000s. Typically that watch will sell around 40, percent off of retail, maybe slightly higher because it's a unique Omega. We did a little bit of comp searches on it. The cheapest comp we could find online was what, 7,500? Take, yeah. take off 7% for the chrono fees, puts you around 71, 7,200. I would say we would list that watch at 7,000, but be prepared for it to sell at six. Just in your mind, have it, if it sells for more, great, but be prepared for it to sell for about 6,000 on the OP. Uh, I see that thing selling for 11. So that puts you at, okay. let's just conservatively say 17,000. You're wanting an right. 1803, which is a non-quick presidential in yellow gold. With that money, now it depends on whether you want a better watch or you would like to get money back. If you're okay with the 1803, it's a non-quick set, which I'll tell you right now is a pain in the ass to set. Um, but if you're okay with that, you can actually get money back. But if you're not really, if you're, if we, you'd rather get a better watch, you could probably get an 18038, which is a single quick set, for still under seventeen thousand dollars, and still get a little bit of money back. On the non quick set, I don't want to say it exactly wrong way, but basically think if you let it go past your day and date, you have to wind the watch a full 24 hour rotation one way to get the date set. Then you have to wind it full 24 hour rotations the other way to get the day and vice versa. So let's just say today is the 18th and your watch says it's the 16th. You can't wind it backwards two days. You have to wind it like 28 full 24 hour rotations to get your watch set properly. And the same thing with the day. With the single quick, you only have to change the, the day as the 24 hour rotations. You can actually quick set the date. So let's say it is the 18th and your watch says it's the 16th, you, you open it up, pop it to the first position, you wind it through really, really quick, and you can set it right to your exact day. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, if, if I can come out of this deal with the quick set and then not putting any more cash in, I'd be super stoked. That's kind of the goal here. A hundred percent, I think you could do that. No problem. Okay, is, sorry, is this Anthony? This is. Oh, dude, no way. Big fan, <laughs> this is cool. And, Sorry, yeah, thank you for taking my call. Oh, of course, it. man, of course. Thanks, man, I really appreciate it. This, I've been trying to get this deal happen forever. Nice. I'm super stoked to get into a Prezi, so. Awesome, well, uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll make you the shipping label. It'll be good for today or tomorrow. If you can't get it out today, don't rush. Don't, like, cut a corner. Just wait till tomorrow. It's not a big deal. Okay, perfect, yeah, yeah. I'll cool. Awesome, dude, nice talking to you.
Yeah, thank you. All right, bye. Hey, Justin, it's Liz. How are you? Hey, Liz, I'm doing well. And yourself? Good. I've got Anthony on the line. I wanted to Perfect. touch base with you so we could go over um, some stuff for your dad. Yes, absolutely. How's everyone doing? Good. Doing good. How are you, man? Good, man. Uh, went out and celebrated a friend's birthday party, so woke up a little late, but other than that, <laughs> feeling fine. Ah, no worries. It was Tuesday. It makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So hey, we've got uh, we we've got the two Wimbledon date just locked in for you, and then Liz told me you may want to add a third. Yeah, so my dad's birthday is coming up on the twelfth, so I kind of wanted wanted to get him uh, something nice. Nice watch is what I think of. I've landed on as far as a gift goes for him. Which piece specifically were you thinking? So I saw that Daytona, the blue face Daytona that you posted yesterday. The white gold one? Yeah, with the blue face. Yes. I was kind of thinking maybe something like that because that can, that band can be taken out and have the strap put on fairly easy, right? There's a tool you can buy that makes it very simple and you'd have to buy, now you can't fit the Rolex Oysterflex strap on that watch, but you can get a rubber B or either okay. rubber B or an Everest, one of the one of the secondary market brands. And you can okay, fit those perfect. on pretty easily, yes. So okay, that's a so solid yeah. white gold piece. It's brand new. Our price is 60,000 on it. And it's white gold? Yes, full white gold. For two-tone rose, I have the Root Beer GMT, which is, uh, it's two-tone rose gold on the bracelet and steel. And then it's got a black dial and a black and brown ceramic bezel. I can send you a picture of that. I also have a two-tone Daytona, but that's yellow gold. It also has a black. I've got two. I've got a two-tone yellow. Oh, the two-tone. Okay, yeah. I know which one you're talking about. It's a one black, has a black, black dial, not the white dial, right? Yeah. Yes, I have a black one and then a black diamond dial. If he really wants to be hip. <laughs> There's a couple of top golf players that he likes that always wear the Daytonas and stuff like that. And he always talks right. about those watches. When it comes to Rolex Sport models, the Daytona is the sport model that has the longest potential upside, and it's the one that everybody like covets. You know, everybody has yeah, subs okay. and GMTs. And, and and date just it's Daytona's that everyone works to get towards. So, the most right, okay, right. that makes sense. So you think you know, let's say five years from now, he's like, oh, I, I want to trade this in for something different. Like, you think that has the most like long-term value out of all of them? Yes. So this watch, so you know, the whole watch market's down a little bit. Their prices are coming back yeah. down a little bit to normal. The last time we saw prices go hyperinflated like they just were, stuff people were like, oh, they can never reach that but they passed it again. Watches got hyperinflated again, and they passed the previous hyperinflation. So this watch was selling, we're at 60 today. It was selling for 70 to 72 just three months ago. I think, no not kidding. think, I know that when that watch gets, gets discontinued, it's going to be an 80, 90, maybe $100,000 watch because it's kind okay, of like, sure. it came out the same time as the other John Mayer Daytona, which is the yellow gold green dial. Uh, yep. And so they both, like overnight, when John Mayer was talking about those watches in his Hadinki interview, both of those watches went up, like, like, like they jumped in price, but the yellow gold green jumped a little bit further, a little bit faster. So the white gold blue, like the yellow gold green's already still kind of crazy high. That leaves room for the white gold blue to follow in its footsteps once it's discontinued. Okay, sweet. So why don't we, why don't we do this? Why don't we do those two Wimbledons and okay. then... Let's do the gold Daytona with the blue dial. Okay. And then let's do the bluesy and, you know, let's say he picks the Daytona. Can I give you the bluesy back to sell on consignment? Sure. No problem. Okay. Just make sure you don't just make sure you don't wear any of them until yeah, he picks sure. one. Yes, that way I can still sell it as new. Okay, cool. Cool. Awesome, dude. Yeah, so let's do uh, let's do those four. sent out to you today uh by latest you guys should have it in your account tomorrow okay perfect awesome thank you guys so much awesome dude well appreciate it yeah absolutely man talk to you guys soon you too take talk care talk to you soon and Bye. i'll send Thanks. you photos over justin okay oh, yeah. okay perfect thank you so much okay Liz. yeah no problem i'll talk nice. to you soon Bye. Right, good. good job two watches just turned to four that's awesome it's gonna be a good month okay. i can tell that's what i hope so hi good to see you what's up man? This is Brian. Brian. Uh, that's Jordan. Hi, Liz. So, nice to meet you. How you doing so far? I'm good, man. It's good. Yeah, it's busy. Yeah, it's busy. Yeah. 
sold five watches today. I'm like, let's go. And yeah, I've got a dude coming in like right after you to consign some jewelry. And it's crazy. Like we posted our video on Monday and it's just, my phone has been blowing up nonstop since the video dropped. It's That's wild. Good. My uh, my chain just finished today too. I said, "Holy shit!" Oh, everything, nice. everything nice. falling nice. through. Nice. Okay. Everything what kind of chain did you get? Uh, I just got a uh, my brand N Shape LA pendant. Oh, dope. Let's see how this shit works. Seems like this. Uh, I'll probably get a get a new uh rope chain. Something calm, bro. I can't always yeah. be yeah. too I like much. Dance. I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna work out in it too. So I'm gonna yeah. be something chill. Uh, no, I mean, no, it would have. This. It's not furnished yet, but we're uh, grand opening is August first, and we're yeah. starting with the office and the necessities that we need to work in the bedroom. Okay. You know and you'll have an invite to the grand opening survive. party. Yeah. It's gonna be lit. But shit, let's go get your watch, bro. Yeah. Yeah. bro. Nice to meet you. I've heard a lot of good, a lot of good about you. Yeah, this is great. We got some bad yet. This is crazy. If I could ever get 20 girls up here for my beach boot camp, bro, that would be f***ing crazy. 20? You, you look bro, you Rose, kidding? you get 10 in this row? Yeah. You can put 10 on 8 right here to the column. <laughs> no, I said, let's go, ladies. Let's go. Yeah. Let, yo, what? So, come dude, on. that's one of the ideas I had whenever we were putting this grass down. Not that one. Well, yeah. I wanted a backyard. Like, imagine you've got friends, clients, all that come over late at night. Hey, yeah. don't even mention the watches. Come up, let's have a cocktail, have a cigar, and just watch this sunset but dude that's a cool idea too is having your trainer yeah. want to come promote it come on you're, you're, you're a client now so you, you can do it for free that right there is what must the, be done kind of the purpose of this whole thing is is to like how many other brands or influencers or, or or companies or whatever can we use this place to help promote while simultaneously promoting us yeah that's what i need right there first one huh yeah this is uh this is uh, what we call a really a hood trophy. <laughs> yeah, it's a hood trophy for sure. Yeah, I already got some people in mind too. A couple people been asking, so I almost uh, was in a situation where we was gonna buy two of these at one time. Uh, my boy Ty, he real, he real close to getting one. Sheesh! <laughs> God damn. This and it's still got some stickers on it too, yeah, and that's like better. a big deal these days because they're trying to rip every take sticker out, off when they out in the sun. Like that watch in person is just this shit. Like, God damn, I might sleep with this bitch on. <laughs> <laughs> you can. It's a Rolex. <laughs> this shit is game changing, bro. That is complete as complete gets. We've got everything, all the little tags, all of everything. So like, hold on to all of this. Yeah. Every little thing. I'm the type for sure. This little part will flip back over. Yeah. And you click it in. That closes it up and closes it off one millimeter. Yeah. And then you just pull up. That gives it one more millimeter. Try that. Because you know how your wrist is swell up and down throughout the day. Oh, yeah. That's the loosest this is, it'll get. This is the loosest it will ever yes. need to be. Okay. But if you want to make it just a tiny bit tighter, you just take that little part, flip it over. No, that's the time. This is right there. this is where I like it right here. I feel like yeah, Perfect. it's not moving too much, but shit. How's it feel? Nah, this shit feels <laughs> crazy. Is this for like watch how you talk to me now? Yeah. There you go. Liz, did you bring an outfit uh, to go out like for dinner? Yeah, I got a couple outfits. Brian, did you? Yes. Uh, George, did you? Yeah, I got yeah, jeans. And I got jeans and a shirt. Okay. It doesn't have to be like super dressy, just something like nicer since it's Vegas. What's up everybody? We are headed to Vegas for the day. I have a, uh, had a few clients reach out and they, wanna, they wanted to ship us a bunch of consignment pieces and Vegas, rather than ship them all, we just decided to take a road trip to Vegas for the day. So we're gonna do a little fan meet and greet, pick up a bunch of watches, go out to a nice dinner, who knows, just, you know, get away for the day, so. Night, day and night, day and night. The lonely loner seems to free his mind at night. Seems to free his mind at night. He's all alone through the day and night. 
change it up maybe do something like every week we're thinking you know it with for the next couple months we want to do places that are either short driving distances small flights just to start meeting a lot of clientele that are in the areas closest to us that i may we may not have ever gotten a chance to meet y'all in person so i like this it was enjoyable liz yeah it's yeah. been a lot of fun i'm super so. glad you guys came out especially so last minute like i honestly didn't think it was even gonna like turn out it was so last he was like throwing it up on his story and i was like ah we're just gonna <laughs> go <we> okay <laughs> like let's go yeah. but cool i'm super glad you guys came out this has been fun but before we like call it a day and everything because I, I really don't care what time it is um i wanted to give you guys a chance to ask any questions uh watch questions youtube stuff there's been like i don't i know like a lot of you guys have followed for different amounts of time some from the very beginning Maybe there's a question and something that happened that there's never been an answer to. I want you guys to take this opportunity since you're here in person. Ask and I'll tell you anything you want to know. Like now the watch is, they're starting to decline. So I want to see like, what do you think? Are we going to have like another boom of pricing or is it going to kind of just like plateau and just kind of drop now? Personally, I think the market's stabilizing right now. Prices have dropped pretty drastically. Mm -hmm. And then over the last, like you saw them drop. 5%, 10%, 15%, 30%, 40% on some stuff. And then over the last two to three weeks, they've kind of held. And now what I'm seeing is, I was telling somebody a minute ago, the last three days have been the, we've had more sales in the last three days than we have the last two months. And it's stuff that is going at the prices that have been sitting there for the last couple of weeks. I think the watch market's kind of stabilizing right now back to what prices should be. If you compare prices now to prices a year ago, we're still 16, 17% higher. If you compare last year's prices to the year before, it's about a 13 to 15% difference. So right now where prices are at is in line with where they should have grown according to last year and the year before. Going back to COVID, 
think about this. Here's, here's my best guess as to why it happened the way it did. COVID happened, uh, my birthday's March 15th, and that was on a Friday last uh, in 2020. And I remember it vividly because Sunday, we were out celebrating, and then they were saying that on Monday, everything's shutting down, and it did. Every, like all of Dallas shut down. Our business was done for a little while. We didn't know how long it was gonna last. We were closed for five weeks, nothing. And then we got a call, we got another call, we got another call, we were back full on in business and 2020 was our record year. 2021 was even better. Um, what I think happened during COVID was everything shuts down, stock markets go down, right? And then crypto started going up and down, stock market every single day. Stock market's going up and down, crypto's going up and down, people are stuck at home making money. People with no money ever are now making more money than they've ever imagined and they're stuck at home. They can't spend it, they can't travel, they can't go out to eat. You've got taxes are crazy high, you know, inflation going up. People just simply want to spend their money and they want to hide it. They want to take it out of the stock market that's doing this and put it into something that's just consistently over time going to be a safer investment. And then honestly, there's a lot of people that just want to take their money out and they want to put it in something they can lock away in their safe and, and hopefully it goes up in value. Watches have been going crazy over the last several years, uh, fetching crazy high numbers. <clears throat> and so people are starting to look for alternative investments that they can, you know, actually enjoy. The beginning of the like 2020 pandemic and all that, um, like market, like stock market was going up and down. I also got into the stock market and I made a lot of money and I was like, hey, let me see what I can do with that. Like putting something else, not only just in the stocks. Well, I found about you guys like in week three or so okay. and got me more interested into watches. So about now, like in around this time, I'm, all, I'm wanting to get into the uh, market, like okay. buying and selling. And I want to start small. Like I can go for a Rolex, but I'd rather go with something to test the waters first, like something smaller. So I'm going for like a Tag Heuer or a Tudor. Now those watches like don't have like that much attention, like as let's a date just would have. For me to buy it, I need I want to move it quickly. My question would be like, how can I get it like started and like get something that would like be sold? I guess you can say, or you know just like test something, you know. Pick three brands: Tag, Breitling, and Omega. If those are one of the three brands that are in the price points you want to spend. Pick your favorite watch out of each of those brands and study everything you can about it. Pick a watch that you would enjoy wearing. Because here's the thing, when you say Tag, Hublot, Frank Mueller, Zenith, they are a slower seller. So you want to pick a watch that you personally would enjoy wearing. First, pick the watch that you, pick a few of the models that you would really, really enjoy wearing and then study everything about them. After looking at that watch like all day for a couple days on a couple different sites and some forums and stuff, you're going to have a pretty good idea on what the market value of that watch is and then set a goal. I want to make $2,000 by buying that watch. If the market value is $5,000, get out there and try to find it for threes. Uh, I want to thank all of my fans and now friends for coming out that came out today. It was a super last minute very unplanned thing. You know, we just kind of announced it a couple days ago, but the turnout, perfect. Just enough people for a small, intimate setting. <clears throat> we brought some nice inventory. A lot of people got to try stuff on that, <clears throat> you know, some pieces they'd never seen in person before. So that was a cool experience. Everyone we met was super supportive. A lot of the uh, guys that came today were longtime followers. They've seen the drama, they've seen the ups, the downs still supporters, still came out today. So we thank you for that. I think we're gonna do this every single week. For the next couple months, until we get the LA operation like up and running and we you know, have more money to spend on big time travel, we're gonna do some stuff uh, local. I'm thinking maybe San Francisco next week, Orange County the following week, maybe another Vegas trip. Uh, I do know that we will be in Miami at the end of June, so be looking forward to that. But these meetups, I think it's a great way to really connect with the fans. And uh, now that we're back, we're getting a lot of positive support, which we absolutely love. If you're not following me on Instagram, Anthony W. Fair, I will announce it there. 
We will announce that on the community page of YouTube where we're gonna go, which week. Maybe I'll come up with a schedule so you guys can follow along with that. If you're in the area that we decide to come to next, which I'm thinking, let's probably plan on San Francisco. So by the time you are watching this video, this Thursday or Friday, we will likely be coming to San Francisco and doing a meetup there. So if you're in the area, we'd love to have you come out. We'd love to meet you, pay attention to the IG and you'll get more details. But it was a fun event. We're gonna do this a lot more often. You guys hungry? I'm always hungry. <sighs> Steak or sushi? <laughs> Steak. What? Steak. What? Steak. Steak. Okay, Steak. all right. Don't, more protein. Don't, don't judge. It's not just more protein, but we eat sushi every single day. Twice yesterday. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I will admit I'm actually tired of sushi right now. Yes. For today. So I guess we're going to go try to find a cool steakhouse. And it is Vegas. So I'm going to be responsible and I'm not gambling at all this trip. Uh, and Liz, I don't think's ever been to the old strip. So we talked earlier about maybe going and seeing Fremont Street, like the Fremont experience. I probably won't go. What? I probably won't go. You're not going? Well, I feel kind of off too. <clears throat> Are you so. tired still? Uh, I think I'm like hungover and all the above. Why you shouldn't have stayed up late last night. You should have been, <laughs> been in bed early, like I was, because you knew we were getting up at 6 a.m. to go drive to Vegas. Brian may not join us, so you guys can join us. Come along. Yeah. All right, so I know it said we were going to go out and explore the strip last night, but after the drive in, sitting, hanging out, talking for three or four hours, we went out to eat and we we're just exhausted. So we called it a night. George ventured off for a, an hour or so. and. Now we're packed up, fresh, ready to go, headed back to LA. Feels like we've been gone forever. Yeah, I'm gonna take like, a whole shower, and go get a spray tan, and get my nails done, and refresh myself. After you go through all your leads, right? Yeah, always. Did you believe that? Oh no! Go. Ready. Uh, the 5711 and then the. This review right here, I think. Alright, so that's sold. The root beer. The Paddock 5711 Blue. That's sold. This sold. The white gold blue Daytona. Two tone bluesy. The vampire might be sold. Let's see what we got in here. That's new. Beauty right here. Fully stickered white ceramic Daytona. Even has the barcode sticker. That's sourced and sold. I'm actually delivering this to my client tonight to go have dinner with him. It's like his third watch he's bought in the last couple months. Oh wow, that's good looking. You're gonna fall in love with this. Oof. Oh yeah, that's super pretty. That's good looking for a lady's watch. It's a 7118. It's a 37 millimeter, I believe. Uh, Patek Philippe Lady Nautilus. And that dial, can you see that dial in there good? Mm -hmm. Dude, that's a gorgeous watch. In case somebody didn't know the difference between new clasp and old clasp, this one closes like that. And then it has a flip, a flip lock clasp on top of it, right here. So you have to open that one and then you pull them up. That's the old style clasp. And the new style clasp have that even butterfly. So it's just, it's just a single, like a, a, they close and they come together evenly. Much cleaner aesthetic, have the, have the logo right on top. Got an OP41, 124-300 with the azure blue. world time. Actually the first time I'm ever going to have sold this piece. It's pretty cool. 
passport. Wow. So where's the water? From? I'm just kidding. I don't know. That's what <laughs> no, we, need to, we need to figure yeah. that out. Like, maybe oh, we'll have to make it more right where it parts are right here. Yeah. What would that be? <laughs> wow. This is like very overwhelming. Very, very overwhelming right now. And this is. And you said there's an upstairs and everything too. This is overwhelming, but this is just like a little tiny portion. Of it. That's amazing. There's so many different areas and vibes. Yeah. July one. Yeah. How much do you have to keep back though? That girl is, I think it's February 22. Uh, slightly warm. Mm -hmm. And I'm at, three, okay, and I'm at 21 asking. 21 asking on that. I can go to 20. Uh, 20. It's, a, it's okay. uh, April 21 for April. the black girl. Okay. That's February 22. And then you said this is how much? Is, 21. 21, okay. Yeah. I think I might have a buyer for this one. February 22, uh, brand new, new car. Okay, I think I think I might have a buyer for this one. Okay. I'll probably hit you up about this. Is it July or is it the, whatever the, the 25? 25. 25. Yeah, whatever the, yeah, whatever one you have. <clears throat> you told me it was like lightly warm. 7, 2021, yeah. 7, 2021, check it out. Oh, yeah, bro. This is, yeah, it's cool. Oh, let me go grab a box of papers. I'll be right back. Okay. Boom. Another watch, another day. <laughs> Tell you the circle. Shit ended in uh, 7 8. 1 7 8. Yep. yep. Right. July 27, 2021. Yep. There is an extra link right here. Count make sure. Yeah. Alright, two, one, two, three, four, and that should be fit. Yep. Mm -hmm. cool. Perfect. There you are. Cool. Yeah, I'll probably let you know about the. Still. Yeah, let me know about that one. Yeah, let's know about the back one. I uh, uh, might have a buy for that one already. Okay. What's up? What is your take on competition working with each other? I mean, my, my parents have been in the industry for almost 35 years. Um, and my brother's been in almost 12, 13 years now. Mm -hmm. And we all have the same mentality where I feel like there's enough to eat out there for everybody. And there's no need to kind of like be in spite, you know? Right. Um, unless there's any like kind of you know bad taste in the mouth of you know, but by all means like I, I feel like working together is probably one of the best ways to kind of like rub their business. Love love hearing that. So the only reason I ask you that's because people like since I've been doing this, people are yeah. like don't show your competition on your YouTube channel, don't show oh. on your social media, and I'm like, no. I've done more business with you and other ones that then and like all the guys I show them like, that's how I get the most business from. Yeah. So competition is healthy work with your competition yes exactly you know anybody for that this one it's a it's a 36 36 yeah i was gonna say it's an off like, it's an off catalog piece mm -hmm. so I, uh, let me take a picture of it sure i'm i, I don't know if i have uh, a buyer like readily right for this one yeah. the reason why is because a lot of my clientele they do like just 40s i, I right. rarely like i'm honest with you in the past you know six months uh, in 2022 i've only sold maybe Three, there's just only So it's just like, it's, it's not off. really, yeah. Let me take a picture of this. All right. Sick. So I will get back to you on the Batman. Right. Um, and yeah, you're all good. All good. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.